What's up guys, welcome to Bro Beats. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a logo in Affinity Designer. Basically, just to put simply, this is basically um, Illustrator and Photoshop. You can do some things from Photoshop in here, but this is kind of like the alternative, cheaper alternative to Photoshop. All right, so if you don't wanna pay monthly, you can just pay a quick 40, I think it's 40, for these. And then, and I said these because it has another program with it called Photo, which is basically Photoshop. But this has really cool features that neither of them, neither Photoshop or Illustrator has. But there, there's, I'll go into that in another video or something. So making a logo, choose a name like the last video. Choose a name that sounds good that you like. Um, if it's a really weird name, if and it sticks with you, and people like it, then just keep it. All right. Resolution the same. Um, thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty. Resolution three hundred, which is a DPI. Um, this is going to be double of 1920 by 1080 p. All right, so we can cancel this because I already made it. Now let's look for a photo. Um, I already did a mask and like the phantom beat, so maybe we can do like a real like kind of um, symbol or logo or something. So maybe we can do, I'm thinking a ninja, but maybe not a ninja, maybe a samurai, all right? Um, cause ninjas, we have to probably use like some ninja stars or something. So let's do a samurai and let's do a sword. I don't want to do a mask. Let's do a sword. Cause we did a mask in the last video. So I'm gonna bring this over and we can kind of just, um, for the background, let's do, I want to get the background first. Let's do a, um, recording studio. So we can put studio in here. Images. Um, let's look up here not home recording studio recording studio filter we're gonna click filter image size extra large and out of these photos here i don't want to spend too much time the one that stood out we'll use this but i already have that photo the one that's standing out is this one but it's way too dark but i guess i can just show you how to brighten it up um hmm yeah i think we just use this one so we can click it twice all right save image and save it as the stew all right the stew okay um now let's get our little sword or whatever um samurai sword png now PNG is going to actually make it so that you don't have to like take the background out. All right, so let's just try to find something here that we like. All right. And the way I'm visualizing it, I kind of want something that looks like this, but not that sword, maybe something like I don't know something a little better than that. Keep looking, let's keep looking. If I take too long, I'll just edit this out. Simple as that. All right, so let's. Geez, they can't just have a decent photo of a sword. Or wait, hold up, wait, wait. Do they already have one for us? Let's see. Actually, that's not too bad. This right here. Let's use this one. lows it's a png all right we good um, well hopefully still a png file um that's for sword now just in case because i'm kind of afraid it's not i'm gonna just save this too all right so we're we're good now we got everything we need so go to open and just grab your projects where is this okay all right, I'm controlling and clicking and they should load in here. Now with this, okay, you're gonna have to press control or if you're on a Mac, I think it's command C. All right, so control C. All right, but first you have to unlock it just like in Photoshop. Control C instead of dragging it because you can't drag it into another file. You have to copy it and then press control V or command V or whatever. Let's center this. And what you can do is hold control and then let me see 
and then you can just drag it in place so you can resize it in place Ooh, let me uh all right so we good there we good all right and then we can use this sword a little bit later right now i just want to focus on this all right so for the black and white we're just going to click this little button that says adjustments go to black and white and then you can adjust stuff here if you want i'm gonna kind of just leave it and see what else i can do with this so the shadows and highlights i'm gonna see if i can mess with this a bit make it a bit brighter all right so it's too bright and i like that all right so we're gonna highlight these and we're gonna group them okay when we group them we're gonna rasterize it so that is one photo okay we can name this bg for background create a new layer down here okay and this is a little bit distorted so let me make it a little larger all right so it gets all the edges so there's no like um you know like mess what is it the transparent isn't popping out through the top all right so now we're gonna do the same effect as we did so i'm just gonna click on this photo go to effects all right and then go to color overlay all right and then we're gonna click this knob and then we're gonna have these effects now we can choose a color i'm gonna just choose white just because it's a good base color for now well not i guess not a color but um i'm just gonna use white and then kind of just fade it probably about the same percentages as the last and i'm gonna do gradient this gradient here and you can see the gradient in here is a lot better than photoshop so i'm gonna just kind of do something like that all right so you can kind of copy that if you want i'll show you the settings okay now i'm trying to think what else can we do with this we can't posterize it so let me go to adjustments and you can go to posterize and then you can like see the backgrounds kind of like you know so we can posterize it i think that might be too much so let's try three kind of liking that one so let's posterize it leave it like that so now we got to bring our letters in so let's do samurai samurai okay and i want a brush i kind of want something that's a brush so let you know kind of like the letters so um let's see what looks good that looks pretty good that looks real good it looks like really good um fine um i'm thinking i'm kind of feeling this one though i don't know how i feel about that we can try both though i'm gonna just do this one and then we can just make this a little bit larger and make sure this is centered all right do another one just name it beats and it was gonna make another font and i'm gonna probably use that alien font oh, actually hold up maybe if i make this it right, looks a little that looks pretty cool what if we shrink it i'm not sure how that's looking but nah, i don't think that font is a good font I think I'm gonna stick with my alien, the alien league. All right, one of my favorite fonts. And what you can do, just gonna put it there, make it a little smaller. All right, so there you go. All right, next, we're gonna have a logo up here, right? So let's pull our sword here again unlock it control control c to copy it and then control v to copy it here so we're gonna need to shrink this a little bit maybe about there would be fine unless i'm gonna hold control right and you can see right here if you look right here it actually shows you the rotation 
all right it's like clock clockwise let's try this and let's shrink it a little bit more all right and i'm just kind of trying to all right that should be good now what we're gonna do and let me name this sword so people don't get confused it's control control c control v to copy it and now up here we're gonna click flip flip horizontal all right and that's gonna be our logo but we're not finished with it obviously we want to center these i probably should have did that before but all right and you can see how it you know what i'm saying like photoshop doesn't do this like it actually like calculates and when you rotate it like if it's centered or not so i think that's centered these letters are a little too like to the side for me so i'm just gonna pull this over a bit because it's kind of bothering me and that looks a little better to me let's see probably somewhere in in between all right so i like that so now with this we're going to change that we're going to actually um group these right click and then go to group and then all you have to do is right click again go to rasterize name it sword and if you want you can make them a little bit bigger make sure it's centered let's move the the beats and the samurai down a bit away from it all right and we're almost done all we got to do now is make this one color so let's click on this and then go to effects then go to the color overlay and there you have it is one color all right or you could um actually if you don't want to do that you want to keep the details you can actually make it one color by making it black and white All right, and then hopefully this will work. Let me see, just click here and then we can go to posterize. And it should do something like that, but this photo obviously isn't good enough for that. So if you wanna keep those details, well, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we can do something. Um, Cause I kind of like the details there. All right, let's see if we can reverse it. So we're gonna click back here and see if we can kind of like invert it. And there's invert. There we go. So there you go. There you have your logo. You keep the details. I want the majority of this sword black so that it matches. All right, now, now the finalization of the logo. Okay, so the samurai, we're gonna do the same thing. What I'm gonna do is same thing as photoshop um with the logo so what i'm gonna do is go to effects and go to and there's a bunch of stuff you can do here you know the gradient you know if you want to do something like that i'm gonna just show you some stuff you know if you just want to do some stuff like that but um i'm not gonna do that you know the bevel where's the uh outer shadow there we go so you can do the shadow okay now this is a little bit different it's named a little bit different all right so you got to kind of mess with these knobs but me i kind of want let's offset this a bit just a bit and i kind of want it to fade a little bit so it's like it's glowing a bit so i'm gonna keep it there but then i'm gonna just turn this down a bit and it's still a little bit uh just gotta adjust it that's all all right so i like that i like the way that looks and maybe just a little bit um turn the opacity down now you can keep that now for this for the actual logo you can see how easy it is to make a logo what is this up here i don't know it's just an extra layer now go to effects let's go to the outer shadow 
And apparently this already has it down. Now we don't want this to be too crazy. Just a little bit. All right, I think that's good. Okay, so that should work. So now it's kind of finalized. Now it's like, you just gotta pick your colors. All right, so let's see, uh, where are we on the background? Let's go to effects. And then let's go to the color overlay. You can see how different it looks. So let's click on this color here. You can just pick colors, all right? right you can just pick all types of colors all right you can have it unsaturated really saturated now when you have black colors like i said black colors when you have the color black um when you go to like purples and the blues it's going to look a little you know, hard to see like right here it's kind of hard to see but to fix that, you just unsaturate it a bit. You know, you can see it's going to white. You just unsaturate it. Okay, you don't want to go darker because obviously, you just unsaturate to fix that. If you still want it really blue, then you can just change the the color of the letters and the logo. But for this, like the last video, we're gonna go with green because that's the color of my stuff. Actually, no, let's try something else. Let's do orange. I've never seen anybody with orange. All right. So that's how you make a logo in here. Everything in here applies to Photoshop and vice versa with the Photoshop video. All right, I'm just showing you in both because I realize some people might have other programs, right? And this is fairly new, so, and it was a big deal when this came out. So I'm guessing some people might have this. So that's how you make a logo in Infinity Designer. All right, um, hopefully this video helped you out. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.